the ability to connect with the horses and the riders at the same time to perfection, to truly understand what the rider is feeling at all times, to be able to give an instruction. Because sometimes it looks like it's one thing that's not working out, but it's truly not. So to be able to have the ability to almost feel in your hands while you're teaching is really important. In this case, um, I'm now training my seven-year-old with Debbie McDonald, and what I really admire from her is her sensibility to transmit to the rider what's going on at all times. To have a really good relationship with your trainer is number one, because whatever you do in the warm-up, you transfer to the show ring, and that has to be clear and to perfection. I think it's really, really important to get somebody that you can communicate well with. So it, the your trainer may not be may not be the best rider in the world, but if it's somebody that commu can communicate the ideas to you and has a really good eye, then I think that's more important than anything. So you want a trainer to not just know how to train one style of horse, but you want someone that has a wide um, variety of training tools and that can um, that can actually see into your horse and can probably guess a little bit better you know what training which direction you should be going I mean he has to have some results himself it has to be I mean, to have a good trainer first of all he needs to know his basics very well and I think that shows if they have a good record themselves that you see they have shown up to the higher levels and that you see that they multiplied uh, produced students or horses then you have a good answer on, on, on how he's training or I always suggest if you want to uh, try a train out go and watch some lessons how they teach and then you see if it works for your personality uh, that's what I would recommend uh, I think you have to look you honestly have to watch how that person rides and make sure that that's something you want to present. That same either attitude or uh, the way they treat their horse. You really have to go and do your research. You know, I've been training with Ashley Holzer for 20 years and, she, you know, she's a great example. She loves her horses. She treats them very, very fairly. I've learned a system from her that's very fair to the horse. And that's a big one. When I, you know, I would really, I would not, I would discourage if you see somebody you know just treating them in a way that they're just the vehicle or they're you know the means to their end and success that that for me is the wrong message especially for kids coming up you know and that's a long-term commitment that if that horse takes a year to get strong enough or to understand it it's going to take a year and that the person is honest when you come you know if someone comes to me with a horse and says how long you know to get this to st george or grand prix my first answer always is it's up to him really how long it takes and I can show you how to train him and what the skills are he needs and how quickly he can pick that up or get strong enough to do it is really on his agenda not on our agenda I would just look and say you know when when that person is riding every time you turn and you see them on a horse the horse looks content happy the aids are fair and it's a picture you would be proud to to become that picture so it's hard to say, oh, look at that person because they have all the students and they're doing great because that doesn't really translate necessarily to you. I think it goes back to your own learning style. What I do say to people, especially young people, is that it's important to learn one system. So take your time, do your due diligence beforehand, find and figure out what you think is going to work for you and try and stick with one system until you get to maybe where I am in my career where I, I now have my own system and I can sort of learn different things from different people and take that from different people. I don't think I necessarily have to be in one program with somebody every single day, though having said that I do get training um, every day. But I think it's important to really learn one system and find that person that you feel is going to really complement you, someone that's going to give you confidence, that's not going to be intimidating, or if you think you need someone to really push you and be a little bit tough, then maybe you have to look for that as well. Someone that has a personality that um, can work with you, yourself personally. Um, that person has to be somewhat adaptable to various different personalities that people have. And also uh, have different strategies to deal with different learning styles as well. And there's some people who learn better with visual cues, others who learn more kinesthetically. Um, others who learn more auditorily and you need to be able to adapt your training 
when you're the coach to those different learning styles.